Hey everyone, welcome to today's Realistic Mom Morning Routine. This is a morning routine for school. I'm a mom of three boys and a military spouse. My name is Becca. If you're new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family. If you like vlogs, routines, makeovers, you will love my channel. Today we are starting off with our normal everyday weekday routine. This is my son Grayson. He is five years old and he is in kindergarten. I wake him up at 6 a.m. and my three-year-old Tristan usually wakes up at that time too because he co-sleeps with us and as soon as I start moving he is up. So we go ahead and get dressed. We brush our teeth all before we head downstairs. Once we get downstairs, the first thing I do is let Miss Lola out so she can use the bathroom. And then I go ahead and get the kids their breakfast. I wanted to add that I'm not a morning person. Let me know in the comments down below, are you a morning person or are you a night owl? I'm definitely a night owl. These nights I try to go to bed really early or as early as possible, but I'm not a morning person. So I try to quickly get things done in the morning with Grayson before I get myself ready. I also intermittent fast, so I don't eat anything for the first few hours that I'm awake, but I always have a cup of water because I am usually really thirsty when I wake up and if I feel a little hungry, the water usually will curb that hunger and it will subside until I'm ready to eat breakfast. And you would be surprised at how many times your body is actually just a little dehydrated when you feel hungry and just really needs more liquid than food. But now we are going to work on Grayson's lunch while he eats breakfast before we send him off to school. Before I leave to drop off Grayson, I wake up my teenager and have him come downstairs to hang out with Tristan while I get Grayson off to school. It's nice to have that one-on-one -on -one time with Grayson before he goes off to school. I think it's special for me, it's special for him. It's a nice way to send him off for the day, giving him my undivided attention without you know, another child. That I have to focus on is just a nice way and I get to spend all day with Tristan alone so he gets that undivided attention as well but I just always try to do this alone with him in the morning since I have my teenager who can watch my youngest Right when I get back to the house from dropping off Gray, I go ahead and get myself ready for the day. I have a pretty decent window size between getting Grayson dropped off to when I have to drop off my oldest Colby. And so I take that time to get ready because it's still a bit too early for me to eat breakfast. So I go ahead and just, you know, do all the things, brush my teeth, put my contacts in, get my face put on, which doesn't take very long. I take about 15 minutes to get everything all done. And that way it gives me that opportunity to be ready for the day once all the kids are dropped off at school, if I need to go run errands or if I need to do anything really it gives me the motivation to get it done when I get ready before everybody is out of the house it really makes me wonder yeah it makes me wonder it really makes me wonder what wonder I wanted to share that if you're interested in getting a more in-depth on my makeup routine and the products I use and all of that jazz, I will be doing a get ready with me next week so I can chat with you and then also share with you the products I'm loving, 
the routine that I'm loving. Like I said, I can do my makeup within 15 minutes. Sometimes I can even do it in 10 if I'm hustling, but I just like a quick, fast, easy go-to makeup routine. So if you're curious, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new and want to see that. It really makes me wonder. Here is the outfit of the day. And I always keep it super simple. I love jeans and a tee or leggings and a tee. Let me know if you know Rosa Pacaflori, where that's from. Now we are going to throw on my mama slippers from Target and we are going to get Tristan all in the car and get Colby off to school. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? from so far away and show us where we are it really makes me wonder Now that we're back from getting Colby dropped off, both kids are dropped off at school. Tristan obviously stays home with me. And now it is time to get Tristan ready for the day. Like I said, in the morning, I focus a lot on my two older ones because they have to get off to school. And like I said, this is a realistic bomb morning routine. I'm not a morning person. I don't love having to do anything. It takes me a while to really wake up so I really just run on this routine, keep it very simple and quick, and wait until I'm really awake to do all of this other stuff. As you can tell, I'm making the boys' bed. I try to get Tristan ready and then make the beds because I just love having the rooms, like letting in the sunlight, making the beds. It just, it makes, it puts me in a good mood for the day when things are neat and organized like that. It, I don't get to do this every single day. Some mornings are way busier and I don't have time to do it. Tristan is so adorable, by the way. He was having so much fun with the camera, but I don't have the time to make my beds every single day. I try to do them most days because like I said, it just really satisfies me for the day. I can't really explain it. Let me know in the comments if you are the same way. It's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Hey, darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. Pack our bags and get in. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll open up all of the blinds downstairs. Once again, I just love the sunlight shining in. It sets me in a great mood for the day. And now it is the time to make my cup of coffee and make my breakfast. I love to froth my coffee creamer in this Ninja coffee maker. It's got the frother on the side. I absolutely love it. I was making a huge mess for a little bit. I swear some days I pour the perfect amount, some days I over pour and then, or I over froth it and then it spills over. So I started putting this paper towel underneath. So if it makes a mess, I can just pull the paper towel, throw it away and not have to worry about a huge cleanup mess. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Now we are moving on to breakfast. I make myself over medium, over easy eggs almost every single day. I love eating them. I always missed eating this whenever I was pregnant, but I make this literally almost every day for myself and it never really gets old. I just season them with salt and pepper, keep it super simple, and I put them on a piece of bread. I love the yolk and I love when it soaks into the bread. It's just so delicious to me. But I do like to start my cup of coffee before that because it stays hot with the froth on it. So I would like it to cool down so I can drink it right after breakfast. Yesterday, there was During this time is usually when I try to get on my phone and 
respond to comments, emails, anything with Instagram, that type of stuff. I usually try to eat and catch up on whatever work I can. Now that I'm done eating breakfast, this is the one point in time of the day where I sit down, drink my cup of coffee, and just relax. I take it easy, and this is the one down time of the day that I have before everything kind of just goes really quickly. I wanted to thank you so much for choosing to click on this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're new. If you enjoyed this type of content, leave me a comment down below and let me know you want to see more routines. Thank you so much, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Bye. Out of sand, reaching for the